So while Coppola is a brilliant director, also he does improvise on the sets. Uh, in fact, they sometimes refer to his scripts as the daily news because he writes it the night before. Check chapters three and four out of your workbooks and see what they say about improvising on the set. Now, since next week is spring break, we obviously won't be in contact until you get back. But I have arranged a guest speaker to come talk with us that first Monday back. He's a well-known filmmaker who recently completed his 48th feature film. His name is Alan Smithy. He has dozens of films under his belt, and as an assignment, I want you to research his career. Be prepared to ask him specific questions about films that he's directed. Watch a few of his films and do not show up without having done this. Do you understand? Mr. Smithy is putting aside his frantic schedule to meet with us, and it would be most embarrassing to me if you all did not arrive punctually. I miss my exit. So if you will not be there, I need you to tell me right now. Now look into my eyes and reassure me that you will all arrive and on time. Don't worry, Professor, we'll be there. Not a problem. I'll be there early. Michael, wake up! I'd really hate to let tardiness affect your final grade in this class. Shit. What I'm handing out are directions to his studio. You'll note that the directions are via subway, bus, or, if you're lucky enough to have a car, by car. Mike? Good morning, sweetie pie. Hey, wake up. Pick up, Mike. Hey, today is the day that we're going to see that big director guy. Remember? Mike, pick up your phone. I'm giving you a ride, and I will be there in ten minutes. So today's that meeting with that big director in Fairfax, huh? That's the only reason I'm up this early. Why are you bothering me? And why are you up this early? Actually, I was wondering if you could do me a really huge favor. Someone sent me a package, but to my mom's house, and I was wondering if you could pick it up for me on your way there. This is not a good time to ask me this. I have to be at this guy's studio at 8 a.m. And my professor made it out to be a really big deal. I know, but it's totally on the way. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Hello? Hey, Tom. Man, I'm running late. Could you pick me up at the Vienna line at the end of the station? All right. But this really makes me uncomfortable. Oh, relax. You'll get there in plenty of time. All right, all right. Who's the man now? Mike? Mike, wake up. I'm a block away from your house. Here are the directions to my mom's house. It's right off I-66, a right and a quick left. You can't miss it. If you make me late, You're I... leaving now, right? Right. So you'll get there in plenty of time. Oh, just in case you can't get in, the front door code is 56991. What? Just in case you can't get in, 56991. Mike, get up. I'm at your door. Mike! Mike, get up.
I hope you flunk this class. I hope you flunk out of school. I hope I never see you again. To be continued, I have another call. Hey, Regina, it's Tom. Tom, where are you? I, I kind of got lost because I missed my exit. You missed your exit? How did you do that? I was distracted by this, uh, this thing. Um, but that doesn't matter. Um, I was supposed to pick up Greg at the uh, Metro, but you know, since I missed my stop, I'm not going to be able to make it there in time. Can you pick him up? We've got 15 minutes to get there. I was supposed to pick up Mike. He wasn't there. And I'm running late too. So is that a no? No, I will not pick him up. What stuff you get up? Um, last stop. Why? I was thinking maybe if you get up before I do, uh, trade the seats. Thomas is supposed to pick me up, but he's late. Let's the box. Don't ask. Kick it. How was the metro ride? Bring your flower hat. We'll take the trail marked on your father's map. Yo, man. Man, I'm don't sorry. Even think about I got distracted by this this thing, man. I missed my exit. You know. Dear students, you open the door. Oh, you're kidding. What? If you were reading this note, you clearly had not done your homework. Or if you had done, your, done homework. your homework, you'd know that Alan Smithy is not a real person. Alan Smithy is the name credited as director when the actual director wants his or her name disassociated with that film for one reason or another. Your diligence in traveling to this most inconvenient location at this unpopular time is commendable, but ultimately useless. In the future, I'd advise you to do your research. See you in class, class on Monday. Professor English. And I can't believe the links this nut goes through to make the point. Oh man, I'm missing out on my booty sleep. Hey Regina, what up? Mike! You asshole, where are you? I was sleeping? Hey, do you have my emails? What email? There's no Alan Smithy. I know that now. We had to come all the way out here to find out. <laughs> you did? Wait, we? We went out there with you. Tom, Greg, Penny, wh what does it matter? <laughs> I don't know. You wanna, uh, you wanna maybe go to a movie sometime? <laughs> we, hello?